realized I don't have any sad music here. I don't think, oh, um, I don't, I, I can't find Matt, my, my MIDI version of like, um, uh, what was it like melancholy or whatever that is. Cause I sort of feel like we need this for this, uh, video. Bum, 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 bum. Thank you. Bum, 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 you may have to hum bum, that through bum, bum, this, bum, 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 bum. Jamie, because <laughs> is this a MIDI version? Because I don't want to get uh, I don't want to get uh, ding. This is royalty okay. free. Okay. Oh, yeah. well, let's play this, ladies and gentlemen. One of the things that is hard is when your friends abandon you when they realize that you're maybe not that bright, maybe you're a charlatan. Uh, I could be speaking from personal experience, but in this instance, this very narrow instance, I'm not. I'm talking about what has happened to Dave Rubin, who simply followed his heart and his wallet, spoke his mind and said really nothing of any consequence. And it apparently has impeded his ability to get back onto Joe Rogan's show and sell books. I'm not saying this, Dave is saying this. Um, will I go on Rogan's podcast? I asked him and our PR people asked him uh, about a bajillion times to go on for my book. We did not get a response as far as I know, so I don't know what happened there. It's a little weird for me to say that publicly. I don't know what happened. Uh, Moving on, yeah. Uh, I just want to say, like, Dave, I, I kudos to you. You're showing a lot of strength. I know how weird that was for you to say that publicly um, and how much, um, how desperate you must be to say that publicly and sad it must make you feel. And um, on the other hand, on a happier note, to a large extent, part of my project on this show for the past couple of years has been to make sure that when Dave Rubin's book comes out, he is not mainstreamed in any way, which I think happened, right? I didn't see any reviews in the Times. And was like, you know, two years ago, really didn't look like that could, he, he was getting this broader acceptance now he's just, you know, part of the right. And he had to, you know, sort of identify now as the right, even to the extent where even Joe Rogan, who I don't know if I would consider the mainstream, but certainly a huge platform, massive platform, um, didn't invite him on. And so in that way, the good news is I'm very happy. We were successful. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's, so, you know, God or or fate or destiny or just, you know, uh, the algorithm gives on one hand and takes on the other. And in this instance, it's taken from me. Yeah, there we go. Uh, happy, happy time. Small wins. Small wins. It is, it's a very small win, but, you know, look. Thank you. All right, friend. I think we get the idea. It's very inspiring. That's very inspiring <laughs> music. What did you do to Google, like, inspiring happy music? Uh, celebration. Um, Royalty free. There you go. Celebration royalty free. I mean, uh, I, 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 we can't take all the credit for it. Of course, a lot of people uh, piled on uh, Dave Rubin, uh, but certainly like, you know, how much can one small YouTube show do? Not much to do something like that. I I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to take it. I'm going to frame it mm -hmm. and put it on my wall. Yeah. I, I don't want to take the wind out of our sails, but Judging from some of the other, shall we say, alt-right adjacent people that Rogan has uncritically platformed on his show, I'm going to say it has less to do with his politics and more to do with the fact that Rogan's just realized that Rubin's a complete dumbass. But that is also something we've been saying. And and did we not? Oh. I mean, did we? I mean, I uh, can we play that clip where uh, the wounded elk? Right? The wounded antelope, yeah. The wounded antelope? I mean... You know, Weinstein could have said any number of shows, but he said our show. That's true. Right? I mean, and that's when 
when Rogan had to come to his defense, like maybe he just doesn't know what he's talking about. And I think maybe that got internalized. So I don't know. Yeah. How do you have a guy on for to pub to, to publicize a book when you say he might not know what the hell he's talking about? That might have been best for everybody to avoid that. <laughs>